Okay, so we're gonna do the bony ones first. So for a joint line, you're gonna have them scoot forward. They have to be like bent 90 degrees. What you're gonna do, like I basically start at the patella or at the side of the patella tendon and you're feeling the gap on the medial and lateral side. So if you feel it and they move, you should be able to feel that joint line. So lateral joint line right here and then medial joint line right there on the inside. And that is for a meniscus tear. Then you have the pes and serene. So we're doing all this stuff on the medial side, so I'll do it on this one. So pes and serene is gonna be just below the medial knee and you feel like there's a kind of a bump right here. That's the pes and serene and that's where the gracilis, the semi tendinosis and the sartorius attach. So like that sartorius muscle goes and attaches right there. Um, and that would be for a bursitis or it would be for a strain. Uh, medial tibial plateau. So for the medial tibial plateau, you're gonna find that joint line again. So move them until you feel the joint. Okay, so hers is like right here. Then the medial tibial plateau is gonna be the bottom part. And then if I'm at the joint line again and I go above, that's gonna be your femoral condyle. And if I go to the back of the joint line and back, that is gonna be the femoral epicondyle. So everything starts at that joint line. So you find the joint line. Let's go this way a little bit more. Like the more straight and relaxed they are, the more you can play with it. So that's the joint line, tibial plateau, femoral condyle, femoral epicondyle. Um, and those are all like fractures, uh, could be like an OCD, anything like that. Um, all right, so we have lateral joint line, I already did. Gertie's tubercle is like PEZ, but it's lateral. So it's on the outside and it's a bump on the tibia. Don't confuse it with like the fibular head. So you'll feel like the bump a little bit more medial with the Gertie's tubercle. And that's for bursitis. Lateral tibial plateau is the same thing. You find the joint line, tibial, femoral condyle, femoral epicondyle. Um, those are the same as I said before. Your fibular head is on that lateral side. You can see like her fibular head is sticking out right now. It's like that part right there. So that's her fibular head. You can also move and feel it. Um, that's for fracture or dislocation. Greater trochanter is actually gonna be at their hips. So it's right at the top of the hip where the oh, wow. um, femur that is. <laughs> and that is for a, um, yeah, IT band tendonitis <laughs> or bursitis. Um, not as much bursitis, but more IT band tendonitis. And then anteriorly, we have the tibial tuberosity, so your patella, you walk down your patellar tendon, the bump that sticks out, that's for Oshkod Schlatter, um, patella, and the patellar groove, you can't really palpate, um, but if you have them straight, you can kind of try to feel the patella groove and feel the patella moving within the patella groove, but it's behind the patella, so you don't really feel it. 